Yeah, he's doing good in Delhi. He was a little overexerted the last few days. Um, but it sounds like he's doing better now and looked better. Uh, and is in, he described it, Rai Priya stopped to see him on her way in. She just got here. And he said he's in family seva at the moment. So engaging, I think, full, pretty full time in that. And of course, sending his love here and loving that we're still getting together and having beautiful sharings. Feeling his loving vibration here. Yeah, and if we can learn about this uh, also that there is uh, still also Sadakadeya and we uh, we take care of this. It's, uh, there is not only a Sitadeya as long as oh we God. are here. I totally agree. It's such a beautiful example. For me, you know, several weeks ago, I was like sharing with him and I was saying, I was like, oh, it's just like, you know, my, my life is just... <laughs> not not set up to support my material life is not set up to support my spiritual life i want to be doing this and this and he kind of laughed at me and he was like all is positive like all is seva you know and i look at like the extent of which he is now engaged in seva in his life is like i mean he's always engaged in seva but like this this seva that we can see and witness is i mean a hundredfold what I was, you know, complaining about in my, like, in my life, how it didn't support everything. And so he just continues to be this beautiful example for us on how to exist in both the material and spiritual world. And that's a, it, that it's important not to separate, you know, we should yeah. renounce everything and go and live in a cave. We should continue yeah. to support our family. That's it. If we not take care of, of our family in this world, how will we take care about anything in the next? Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. If we did, uh, neglect any relationship here, how will we be connected in the next? Yeah, no cutting. No. It's more intense. Yeah. Because we realize the meaning of relationship yeah of, of in love and this is makes the the difference this is what i learned from him so he is not cutting even in the time of his sannyas he was always taking care somehow yeah and to me i feel so, like cutting is a is an act of of doership you know like if we want to create these circumstances for us instead of being the viewer and having these situations come to us and say like, okay, you know, Radha Mohan are in charge. Like he shared that with me a little bit ago when I was talking about some, some personal circumstances. And he was like, do you think you're the controller? Like this is, this is, this is a doer mentality. If you, if you're in a viewer mentality, then whatever comes to you, see as beneficial, see as positive. And this is the way to live spiritually in our material world. If we want to try to control and think to ourselves, oh, this situation isn't good, you know, this isn't, it's like it's all been created by them. And so... We have to see it as a gift of our Swamini. Mm. All people and all situations, what we, what we preach in the morning, Akanda Mangala Karan, that means no nothing else than this. Everything what we what is coming to us in every moment in this life is somehow sent by the divine to check and give us a, a possibility to grow in that uh, uh, loving feelings. There is no, no negative. I mean, I'm not on this level of <laughs> what I speak about. Uh, many times I see things that is a, a problem, a obstacle, something is coming, and this is bad, this is good. And so we judge 
sometimes uh, uh, make difference only that what is uh, uh, make us happy is is good and what does not make happy is not good yeah so but actually both is a uh, sent by the divine and uh, so we have to grow in our personality that's it and that for this is good there is a good example how to stay in both and not to, what you say not to cut mm. yeah yeah Already such beautiful, deep lessons for the day. <laughs> Even he is not present, he is uh, he, he giving example. Yeah. Always. She <laughs> don't, hey. Where did we finish yesterday? Um, I think we were, I was going to back up just one or two sentences to where, um, for me, on my book, it's on the bottom of page 23, where one can also read this verse in the following way. It's a little ways below where they're talking about the Lalita Alankara. I have a different book. But is verse 8? 7, 7. Now you see in my book is uh, 23 is, uh, is uh, verse 8. Oh my God. It's two paragraphs below the, the commentary beginning from seven. Yes, it's on, on my book, it's on 21. Wow. On the, yeah, <laughs> the beginning of 21. <clears throat> we must have some more spaces in the next version. <laughs> <laughs> And I have a, a great desire that we change this word pastimes in Leela. <laughs> yeah. Because I think say. everyone who's uh, listening and reading, he knows exactly the, the meaning of the Leela. Mm. Or we can say past, present, and future times. It's, it's not quite as smooth on the tongue, but... I find Leela is, is easy. Leela. Leela encompasses it all. You're right. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Guru Dev. Today we're continuing with Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhaniti, verse 7. Maybe I'll back up one more sentence above that. It's very beautiful. One of the sentences that Kishori yesterday pointed out. Sri Radhika can be understood only through pure love 
and not through any use of words. Brother Rade, good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I have, I'm coming to the basement after uh, I have to do something in home. Um, one thing yesterday, I meditated to this point. So now Mahatma Ji read, Swami can only understand by pure heart without word. Then I had a question. Then why we have to read books by word? Why we have to share by word, right? This question comes up. <coughs> then I remember one sentence from Anantadas Baba. Only self-realized person can make word about the Swamini. Means, by word we cannot understand, by pure heart we will understand. Then, when we have some experience, then we can make word. Then, this word makes our heart pure, cheto darpana, like a pure water drinking. Then, realization may become. That's why, this word, only word is impossible, but listening this Acharya's pure heart word, self-realized person's word, makes our heart pure and cultivated our love for our Swamini. It's helped to understand her beauty. Sri Rade. I feel that this word pure is very important. Swamini can only be understood through pure love. And what is this pure love? This pure love is single pointed focus, our sty bhav on Swamini. If we're 100% focused on her, loving her, then she can be understood, she can be felt, seen, experienced. And this pure love is only possible through a manjari. Gopis, sakis cannot do this. And this is the gift of Mahaprabhu. Before him, we only had words, sastra. Old Testament. And this could bring you into Gopi Bhav, but to really understand, to really feel, to become into this feeling of manovistam, I feel what you feel with Sri Radhika. It's only possible with this one pointed love that Mahaprabhu bought, brought from the gopis or from the mandaris. <laughs> <clears throat> so that means there is also impure love possible. Mm. And that means impure is a material love. This is not pure because it's mixed with the desire of uh, sense gratification and it's always also controlled by the gunas mm. but pure love is not controlled by any guna or mind or senses pure love is a real relationship on a spiritual level not touched by the material senses. So there is not a desire for uh, 
for the sense gratification of our material senses. Pure love is uh, a love to uh, to please the senses of Swamini and Mohan in that way, through Swamini, through Mohan. This is a, uh, and the highest form of this pure love is that of the Manjari. But there is the other pure love is there on different levels. If it's on the spiritual level, again, there are some other levels. But uh, this is also pure, but the, the topmost form of this pure love is that what you explained in the uh, uh, fixed love of the Swamini. Two, two words, Swamini of the uh, Manjaris. So there are two kinds of love. Love is everywhere, we can say. But if it's mixed with the matter, it becomes impure. So that is uh, uh, a selfish, we could say, somehow a selfish love. And uh, enjoying mood. And uh, if, we, if we love in a pure way, then we have a, a service mood. We like to serve the love, not enjoying somehow. Of course, there, there, because we serve the love, there will come rasa. This is different to uh, material rasa. One example is that spiritual rasa is eternal. A material rasa is up and down, suffering, enjoying, suffering, enjoying. Death and life that happen in the matter and uh, this not happen in the spiritual. The spiritual suffering is even more enjoyment sometimes. More rasa in this kind, what Gurudev explained in Chaitanya, or also when he say Govardhan. Many times he explained this. So that there are two kinds of love. One is pure and one is impure. So that we never have to mix. This is uh, sometimes misunderstood when people only uh, try to dress in a gopi dress and uh, uh, enjoy uh, this impure love by enjoying uh, their senses, and they say, "Oh, I'm in uh, go. I'm a gopi." Uh, many say that uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada he, he stopped this this behave and not giving uh, uh, Siddhasvaru because the people start to mix it. And this is the dangerous in, in that, that you not get a spiritual view and you start to imitate this pure love. So first we have to change our identification, give up all this uh, sense enjoyment in the material world. And for that we need a, a, a self-realized guru. If we think we can do, we are the duo, how Gurudev said, the finish, over. That will not work. We cannot get Swamini's mercy by our own uh, plan and doing because we are in our 
Sadakadeya under control of the Gunas. No chance. Nothing happened. We are not. This is like a, 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 we say a, a witch is uh, is um, uh, make some power, some illusion power to you that you think you are a person who you not really are. This is a the power of Mahamaya. She is like that. She makes you believe you are somehow you are not. And you, everyone, so many, because her power is so great that she uh, uh, makes her illusion to the whole world. And so, because everyone believes that this is the truth, it's hard to, to uh, to go against this. Jeev <laughs> Jago, how Bhaktivinotaku said, wake up, sleeping soul. We are sleeping. We are in this illusion. We think we are a body. And as long as we are on this stage, pure love is not possible because Gunas will not allow, senses will not allow, mind will not allow. We have foreign control. There is a, a somehow a witch, something we can say, a witch behind this, who, who, that we stay in illusion, make some mystical power to our and there is one, one bigger power. There is only one bigger power here in this world. This is the power of a self-realized soul. She can see the illusion. And she can wake up. She can wake us up. This is the only one who can wake us up from this sleep. Like in Matrix, there is two two pills. You can stay in that illusion and you can wake up. You maybe someone knows this this uh, movie. <laughs> so and uh, Gurudev, uh, he he get this this one pill to wake up. <laughs> that we have to understand that only. He has the power to that we come out of this illusion and find our real true, who we really are. And then we recognize, oh my God, I have a service, I have another body, I have an eternal body, I'm an eternal soul, and I have something to do. There is a service to do. Then there are some two people who need this service. If I'm not wake up, this Leela of my Kunja will not happen. That start in that moment, I start my service. This is the pain of Raghunath Das. What he can feel if he is not in his Siddhadeya. Then this Leela stops and not happen. But he knows, oh my Swamini need me. They can only come together when I do my service. This is my Seva. They need this, and so he is suffering. Oh my God, when can I come back? To... This is the, this inner pain. He is separated from his service, and then the meditation becomes more intense. If he feels like this, he cannot think about anything. 
especially not for his material body. So he he sit in the sun without uh, he's not feeling anything, no hunger, nothing. There is no uh, attention to to this material body and material senses. Jen. And what I feel is that he that he really got the order from Swamini to tell us about this in the form of Mahaprabhu. He gave him this this seva to go and come back to, to write these words to our, what is it, blessing. Mm. Otherwise, he will not come, go and come and go and come. He will continuously be in that service. But this is the mercy of Swamini, compassion. She knows the suffering of the souls in that illusion. Yeah. Yeah, not really possible in words to describe the compassion that <clears throat> she must have for all of us fallen souls to be willing <clears throat> to extend that opportunity. Extreme love. Mm. Pure. 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a question uh, inside of me like... Um, is it possible to share this pure love with our partner or with our family, like with our loved ones? Mm. Like, or is it just possible if we come into this stage of soul and through that, like um, connecting with the other soul? Yes. That starts and on the soul level. If you rec realize your, that means a self-realized soul. A self-realized soul, see, it's also described some, somewhere in the scriptures that a self-realized soul, see, all li living beings with the same view. He see this, this soul in every living being, not only in the human. And he see everyone and everything equal. I think it's in Bhagavad Gita also. Maybe this Jainandaji is there. My Suniti is also not here. But it's somewhere it's described. This is. Uh, uh, that what you ask for, no? that this self-realized soul will see everyone, every living being equal. There is a picture in, in the uh, books of Prabhupada with an elephant, a monkey, uh, a, a dog eater, a hunter, and there in the middle is sitting this Brahmana who realized the soul. And he is, he is not judging this um, dog eater or this uh, uh, the, the Brahman or the, the dog or the elephant or the tree. So he is, uh, uh, he, this is meaning of self-realized. He see everyone equal. And the Manjari, 
if we are meditating as Manjari, we can see uh, our Radhika in every living being because the love is there in every living being, is in the heart. And this is only possible by the presence of Radhika. Even it's in the illusion of uh, of this Mahamaya. But love is there. But it's impure love. The pure love start on the soul level. Mm. Mm. It's a general. I love because I can see everyone in this same but then again I, I grow more in that manjari mood and then love becomes more clear and the relationship to that love starts in my heart. And in that way, I can see that my partner is also given by that mercy. And every situation in my life comes through her because it must be like this because I'm her maidservant and she will take care of me. She is like my mother, how Gurudev said many times. She is feeding me with the breast milk. How much compassion is there? So I, I'm safe. No more fear necessary. Because as a as a soul, even on the soul level, I don't need to even come to the maid servant level. I realize, oh my God, I'm eternal. I'm a soul. Not, no one and nothing can can touch me. It's also described: the wind cannot dry my soul. The water cannot make red my soul. The matter cannot touch. Like a lotus flower is not touched, even it's in the water, but it's not touched by the water. So the soul is on a complete different level than the matter. I want to speak about this realization of a, of a manjari and the realization of our Ishta Devi. Full face. Not only hope, it's even a, as, a, as a fixed face and belief and, and no. Hope is even in the beginning necessary. But if, if you realize your soul, then you know. And then on that level, you can give others hope. Even they have no full face. So like our Gurudev is doing. He gives us the hope because we see in him the full face. And the same is in his guru and his guru. So, I know. how do? Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to cut you off. No, no. I, I want to ask. You, is, is, was the answer is okay or? Yes, 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 it was okay. Like, um, another question comes up then, like, because it's like, um, like a step. 
So like how to reach like soul consciousness first. Yeah. Prabhupada said it is belief. The start was belief. So you need actually a, a, a spiritual master who is on that level to teach you about this. Then you will get it if you have full faith in him. He is the key. Once I always tell this story when the German devotees came to Prabhupada and he asked, they were thinking uh, that they give, uh, because they distribute so many books, they was world master in distributing books at that time in the 70s. And our good friend Saduma, she was a uh, uh, Prabhupada disciple in these years. And she was also there, so she told me this story personally. So they came to London, and uh, they saw that Prabhupada is very happy with him, with them, and uh, well, uh, yeah. oh, very good. But he did not. When they enter after some time, they he looked at them, and then he asked, "What do you learn?" from my books. So there was a little, I was not prepared for this question. <laughs> so many answers came and, but he was not happy. And then after all, he stopped and he said, you have to understand that you are not this body. You are eternal soul. So this is the basic of all his books what he explained to us to to this is the the conclusion everything what is coming now more is maybe hidingly in we can find in the books and by gurudev's expertise he found some quotes where Prabhupada uh, gave a hymn to a higher level. But uh, his desire for this time and this devotees was that they understand they are not the body, they are eternal soul. So if you st uh, study Prabhupada's books, this should be the conclusion. And this is, these are his own words. I got from his disciple directly. She was there. So that we have to learn when we study the scriptures. But even to get this level of a soul, we need 100% the spiritual master. Only a soul who is realized can make us realize. Thank you. On him. One can also read this verse in the following way. When will the moon-like face <coughs> of Sri Radha that causes even Shama Sundra, who is astonishing 
at every moment and who enchants the whole world to stand in his beautiful threefold bending form be manifest to me. So the difference in this interpretation is that this interpretation is saying that Shamasundra is astonishing at every moment. And in the first interpretation, we're saying Sri Radhika's astonishing, playful elegance. Little different object. However, Nantadas Babaji's commentary is so beautiful afterwards. We think, I think for a moment when I hear this, I'm like, oh, this is out of, this This must be Gopi Bhav. You know, this is Saki Bhav. We're concentrating on on Mohan instead of on, on Swamini. And, and then Anantadas Babaji continues, the maid servants have seen that Shama Sundra's elegance is astonishing at every moment while he worships Nikunja Devi Radhika. So the reason his elegance is astonishing is because he's worshiping a Radhika. Sham's pastimes are most astonishing when he submits himself to Srimati's service All of Mohan's pastimes are sweet, but his amorous pastimes with Sri Radha are extra special. The Ganga fountain of the maid servants ecstatic love flows in innumerable directions when they see how Sham submits himself to Swamini during their amorous sports. Ganga Fountain. Mm. <laughs> we know that Ganga Devi is actually not from this planet. She crossed the universe and when she entered this planet she has such a power that she will destroy this planet if there is no one carry this power and makes it uh, possible to stay and to uh, flow to this planet. And who is this person? Someone knows? Mahadev Shiva. He is sitting on Kailash, and if you see, there is on his head there is a a sign. This is Mother Ganga. She's coming from the heavenly planets, actually, or from the spiritual world, maybe. And uh, he he has the power to. What is it in English? Auffangen. To, to catch this power and so that this, uh, this, that this power is not destroying the whole planet. So that in that way, this fountain is a, a, a picture of how to explain 
the power of this ecstatic love flow in the manjari. There is nothing powerful like this stream of Mother Ganga when it's coming from the universe to this earth and catched by Mahadev. Ganga fountain. Yeah. Thank you for the story. Yeah. I was unaware of the power of the Ganga fountain. Yeah. Our Siddhanta Ji is not there, huh? Mm, not in the room, maybe. Radhe, Radhe. Jai. Uh, hey, Maharaj. Yeah. Radhe. This was a short form of this story. You know it exactly, no? No, not so well. I'm sorry. I'm not in good condition now to speak either, so. Oh, my God. No, no, no. All good. Yeah, but please, Jai Nanda, maybe we can help you. I'm sorry. No, he's not here. Uh, all good, all good. Okay. I think it, it's Isn't somehow it, yeah, we, got the, we got no. the, We got the understanding of it, and it's a perfect uh, abridged version. We'll look look forward to the longer version when space allows. <laughs> Why does Sham show his threefold bending form? Mm -hmm. This was the question we were discussing yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Perfect. Because he is enchanted by seeing the sweetness of Radha's face. And he tries to touch the edge of her skirt with his heel. <laughs> he bends down to the left, casting crooked glances. He stands in his threefold bending form as if he is unable to bear the weight of tasting Radha's sweetness. The devotees can taste Mohan's sweetness according to the amount of love they feel for him. This is the, the point, no? Mm. We relish his sweetness to our Radhika. We know him. That's not the meaning that the maid servants not love more. But they always love Swamini more. Yeah. She is the fixed star in the sky for the maid servant. But so, because of this, they can relish his sweetness.
राधे राधे गुड मॉर्निंग राधे वंदना um remember why krishna wants to touch the skirt of shrimati radhika i remember gurudev talking a lot about this but i cannot recall it maybe somebody can Maybe I introduce you. Yeah. Shira Dev Vandana Ji, good morning. So thank you for nice inspiration question. So I had, and this is Radharasas Danidi, verse two. Every day we are singing in the time of Rati. So, even Lord Madhusudana Krishna, who is hard to attain even by the best of yogis, feels himself greatly blessed when he is touched by even the slightest playful breeze coming from the tip of Sri Radhika's garment, right? <coughs> Means, Radhika and Radhika's ornament, Radhika's garment, Radhakunda also is saying, full of Mahababa. Moha need Mahababa, Moha need pure love from Radhika. Somehow he wants to try to get. But, you know, Radhika is very shy, especially in Sakis. She have to say no, no to Mohan, right? That's why if Mohan hug her, Radha will get angry and escape from Mohan. That's why Mohan have to hidingly try to touch Swamini her somehow. That's why this feet, no one try to see, don't see, but he want to try this edge. Somehow he want to get her Mahababa. This kind of uh, Parakya Baba is happening this feet. Mm -hmm. Is this okay, Vandana Ji? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very beautiful. Thank you, Kishori Ji. <laughs> I have one more I like to speak about this. If we have Radha Mohan deities on the altar, they are a non-moving form of Radha Mohan. But they are, that not means that they have not the feeling and all the attributes of the divine couple. And because he cannot move in that form, he put his uh, what is it? His heel in the direction. He has always this three folded form on the altar, right? In the Leela, he is, he can move and touch and do everything, but on the altar, he is fixed. So he kick his, his heel in the direction of Swamini. And if she wear a nice sari there, maybe the sari will touch his heel. This is also, we can see that even they are not moving, there are the feelings, everything is there and on the altar. We don't have to think about that they are, have no feeling because they are uh made of some uh wood or what is it messing iron or like this but they are 
on the altar, we, we understand that they are full of the feelings, everything is there. But they are not moving, and in this way, Mohan put his heel in the direction of Swamini, so that maybe her uh, sari will touch this heel, so and he can feel her touch. So that we can meditate every day on our altar. And when we uh, put clothes on our deities and change, we can also take care that uh, a small part of, of her sari will touch his heel. So then we can please the divine couple on the altar. This is the manjari. Sure. Because she needs <laughs> even even in the even on the altar, Mohan is in need of of the manjari service. Yeah. Very beautiful. I heard from Karavati Mataji, this Jananda Maharaj's wife. She taught me how to take care of my deity Radha Mohan. At that time, she said, smiley, smiley, give Mohan's chada touching Radha's garment by chance. <laughs> this is relationship. <laughs> no one understand, but slightly just touch, just sawaraseru no yo. Then, so Moha and Radha become happy. This is our happiness, like this she taught us. Sri Radha. <laughs> <laughs> In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Sri Krishna says, My sweetness is ever fresh, and my devotees taste this according to their love for me. Since Sri Radha has the greatest love for Mohan. She can taste his sweetness to the utmost. And the more she loves him, the sweeter he appears to her. Wow. Amazing. This is the the cycle, this cyclic pattern that makes these feelings, these leelas ever fresh. So always new for the first time. And how is that possible? Because she, as she loves him more, he appears more sweeter. She loves him more because he appears more sweeter than he appears more sweeter. And in this way, this cycle is always going on. And this is what, this is the energy that facilitates this ever fresh, new feeling like they're meeting for the first time. Expanding. And very nice point. And who can see for whom Radha and Mohan play this beautiful leader? They are hero and heroines. That's why they need manjari. They show us our beauty. It's up to our pure love. If we have pure love, we can become more close, intimate. Then Moha and Radha, Radhika show us freely, deeply this beauty of love. 
あなた出すばば is in シータデーハ ?That's why he, she can describe what's happened rather and more h a r by view of m a n j a r i That's why it's not written I'm m a n j a r i but without m a n j a r i this beauty never come and あなたパスパバ、イマンジャリスワルパ、ヒリビールズアスディシュビューティー。シュリラーで。Actually, he explained the feelings of p r a b h u d a n a n d a Maharaj or Saraswati.、Mm. And、uh, this is only, how you say, it's only possible If you are in Manjari bath, otherwise you cannot explain the feelings of a Manjari.、Mm. How you say the, the Manjari never e x p l a i n herself, it's always using others. <laughs> so Gurudev always uses Guru. And glorifies the Guru. And many times they say, I, I remember Prabhupada. Mainly he,、uh, he n o t say me or I, he s a y we. If you read the books, you, you be aware of this. He u s e we and not me and I. It's also. This shows his relationship. Yeah. And also, that we have to understand we are nothing. We think it's our realizations we got. That somehow it's true, but it's only by the mercy.、Mm. This is all realization c o m e by mercy. This is not our doing. Uh, so, so uh, uh, Lakshmi Devi, how much uh, uh, tapasya she did, but not coming. It's not coming by our own. We have to take shelter of the lotus feet of Swamini and Guru Manjari, then mercy is coming. And this is only coming by mercy, not by our own doing. Yeah, I'm reminded of the story. I can't remember who was sharing it yesterday with Hanuman and the ant. Yeah. And Ram, and Ram saying, Oh, I can take this power that I gave you and give it to the, aunt, the ant instantaneously. <laughs> this yes. Is <not> our- <laughs> Not, not our ability. <laughs> yes. That's it. And it's a perfect example. And he took the, the service of this.、Uh, somewhere in the Ramayana, it's also described a spider, a small spider, or arm is similar. Uh, so, same, same level. He makes not the bigger, because the bigger body is possible to do the bigger, but it's not meaning, because this, this,、uh, endeavor, is it right, the word endeavor?、Mm, yeah. Of the b i t e r or the arm is the same than that of the Hanuman. Yeah. She took what, what she could, what she was able to take. But the mood was, uh, is, is asked here with, with, uh, with, the, um, she wants to help. She wants to take part of this, uh, to, to, to help Rama to build this bridge with a lot of enthusiasm. And it was, but it was only a sand corn. And so on. Oh, wait. Or it is useless. 
But that was, this is the real difference. She has the same heart than Hanuman. She yeah. was full enthusiastic with the sand corn. Write the name of Sri Ramachandra on the, the sand corn. Because of that name, all the stones was able to swim and build this bridge to Lanka. Because of his name, and her seva was important than that of the Hanuman mm -hmm. or Ramachandra. A beautiful example. Mm -hmm. I remember when and uh, question and answer from Gurudev. I asked Gurudev, what does mean mercy? Many answers will come, but I remember, what does mean mercy? Gurudev answer, mercy means love. Gurudev mm. always give us love. In this moment, any moment. That's why we can keep this sharing. And every day is fresh. You also, Mahatma, you also, everyone give deep realization through Guru Deva's love. That's why this uh, Ramachandra story also, Hanumanji get mercy from Ramachandra. Means Hanumanji get love from Ramachandra. Ants get love from Ramachandra. And they want to return love. That's why they try their effort. Mercy means like uh, in material vision, some mystic power or uh, some God blessing. It's also true. But uh, from this hearing, this Gurudeva's answer, mercy means love. It's more that my heart. Love gives us power. Sri Rade. The word Kala Nidhana, <coughs> abode of arts, contains the syllables Ka and La. The key to the important <coughs> Kama Bij, transcendental seed of desire. The invocatory sound of the Kama Gayatri and Gopal mantras. The limbs of Sri Krishna are present in each of the twenty-four and a half syllables of the Kama Gayatri mantra, in which. Krishna is the transcendental Cupid, and they fill the world with desire, just as moon rays do. But by seeing Radha's moonlike face, Even Krishna is pierced by Cupid's arrows. This is the magic of Swamini's face. Mm.
So if we see the face, it has a, a another uh, Willkommen, I don't know. And it's not the same than when Krishna see her face. He is, uh, he is the enjoyer. This is his mood. So we see different. We are the servant. But both as the, the highest topic of rasa relishing when they, when we see the face. When Mohan see Radhika's face is the topmost of his feelings. And if the Manjari see her face, it's the topmost of her feelings. But the feelings and the nature are different. Mm. We see the beauty of her face in that form how much seva we can do to her. We like to do the service. And Mohan has this tendency for how much he likes to enjoy with her. But sometimes it happens that he changed and he also liked to serve her. Then he enters in that desire of a manjari. He loves Swamini so much that it's even not enough to enjoy with her. But then he also likes to serve her, like the manjari doing. And so he came as Mahaprabhu to feel Swamini's feelings towards him and Manjari's feelings towards Swamini. <laughs> and to see this sweet, sweet Krishna, this Mohan, who is so much in love, This is really most beautiful. <clears throat> but we always have to see first our Radhika. How she, uh, is it in chance? Is it the right word? Yeah. How she enchants Mohan. So he becomes a servant of Ferda. This Cupid that's described in the text, we're probably all familiar with Cupid. He's depicted in the material world as this little being that flies around and shoots arrows of love. And if you get hit with one of these arrows, then you immediately have feelings of love overwhelm you. They take over everything, all your senses. This is all you feel are these feelings of love. And, and in the material world, this is represented with material love. And here it's described that in the Kama Gayatri mantra, Mohan is the transcendental Cupid. So he is in this in this form flying around and giving the opportunity to be shot with these arrows of transcendental love. And they fill the world with desire. So these syllables 
fill the world with the desire for being shot for one of these arrows. As we always talk about, desire is this foundation, this root, our base. All we need, this desire, this greed. And this calm Gayatri gives us this desire to be shot by one of these transcendental arrows from Cupid. And then it goes on to describe Radharani's glories by saying, even this transcendental Cupid who's giving the desire for this highest level of love, this pure love, even seeing Radha's moonlight face, this Cupid that's represented in the Kamgaya tree is pierced by this desire for a transcendental love. And so how is this possible? If this is only possible because Radharani's love is higher than Krishna's love. If he was pierced by his own arrow, then the desire wouldn't, if we have, if we're trying to attain something we already have, there's no desire for it because we already have it. So when he sees Radharani's moon-like face, he's pierced by this desire for this higher level of transcendental love. I remember one day Jananda Maharaj explain, explained this. What is arrow in Kamagayatri? This is the spiritual five senses. Do you remember Gorasundara Prabhu? Mm. Could you explain? If you remember. No, please explain. Sure. No. Please support. Yeah, these five senses, like uh, seeing, Mohan see her face means, of course, he listen her voice. See face means he smell his face. And maybe he's going to kissing also, touching also. Only Radhika can fulfill this transcendental karma deva spiritual senses. Means Jananda Maharaj says, real karma deva is not moha. It's also radical also. Radika is transcendental cupid. Means Radha and moha are same. <laughs> Actually, Mohan is transcendental cupid, but this transcendental cupid is pierced by Radhika's these five arrows. And this Manjari, we can see, that's why I point to her. Without Manjari, it's not happened. Maybe more and deep explanation the, you can do. What is the arrow? Arrow is five senses. Like it's a, a shooting. Side, long five lens. Yeah. Side yeah, and this eyebrow is... Uh, it's the bow. Yeah. Bow, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, this is more deep, huh? Pace means. Wow. So if he is... Defeated even by a sidelong glance. What to speak to full face? So Mahatmaji disappeared. What happened? He went to the bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, maybe he went to the bathroom and is coming back. I'm not sure he didn't say. Yeah, because maybe it's 3.30 and time is, is gone. Time is done. His body was saying maybe. Um, yes, thank you, Gora, for your beautiful sharing. My goodness. And ending thank with you. the sidelong glance. Wow. Yes, with this arrow. Mm -hmm. What is shot by this sidelong glance. And this is Kamagayati, is this Cupid who is shot by the sidelong glance of Swamini and becomes, uh, the knees become soft so he cannot stand and his flute is falling out of his uh, uh, hand. <laughs> so, and, uh, and this is, and he realized this Ananda there in this Kamagayati. Mm. So this is his uh, the highest form of that, and and uh, this twenty four syllable there is a uh, Moha, there is Swamini, and who is seeing this? The scene, the full scene. This is the Manjari. This is the half syllable. Mm. Twelve, twelve and a half. The same is the Mahamantra. We can, there is Rata, Mohan, and they are together in Ramayana, and who is watching this is the Manjari. In this case, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is only relishable in that mood of a Manjari. Others cannot see this. Wow. Mahaprabhu in his uh, full, only the Manjari can realize his feelings and her feelings. And only Manjaris can serve that completely. So, Jai Sirate. Thank you all. My Dandavad. And uh, good good health to our Siddhanta Maharaj. We're wishing him with yeah. good health mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And also Mataji, mm -hmm. Niti, Gurudev, all who feeling sick in the material body. Thank you so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your mm. sharing and your class is healing. I really feel it so much that I can hear, at least hear that. And mm. I'm not feeling so much sharing now. I'm listening. Thank you. Mm. Thank All you. the best, my dear. Dhanavad. Dhanavad. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe. Radhe Radhe.